I've come out this morning to the Peak District. Uh, not an area I shoot very often because uh, I don't have much luck here. But today I'm determined I'm going to get something good. It's cold, it's just before dawn, and it's Higa Tor. And I'm hoping for a bit of a sunrise despite the clouds. So let's see how we get on. Well, I'm at the top of Higator now. It was only about ooh, about a three minute walk from the car. So nothing too strenuous, thankfully, first thing in the morning. Uh, it's very windy and it is cold. So I'm wrapped up and I'm hoping the sun will start to make an appearance. Now, it's a nice location. I've got some marvelous rock formations. And if it lights up, it'll be very dramatic. If it doesn't, I can feel a black and white coming on. Well, sadly, sunrise has come and gone, and uh, nothing really happened. There was no sunrise, but hopefully there's going to be a bit of light breaking through these clouds in the next half hour, because they are quite thin, so it's worth hanging around. Well, our patience has finally been rewarded now because the sun's broken through. We have blue skies, we have rays, we have warm light catching the, the rocks and the grass. And I have a very nice composition of the valley behind me. And I'm really going to make the most of this now, so I'm going to switch off the vlog and get on with taking some decent stills. Well, the, the light levels have dropped significantly in the last 15 minutes and where I was shooting over the cement works is obscured now, so I've had to stop that shot. Uh, also, the, uh, the bright rays of light we had coming through earlier have been, uh, been shut off, unfortunately, by some cloud. It's about half ten. We've been up here for nearly three hours, so the most sensible thing to do now is get something to eat, recharge the batteries and then decide on the next location. Now we've come down to a spot called Paddley Gorge, which is only a few miles from where we've been shooting up on Higator. A lovely little valley in here with a river running through it and plenty of woodland. It's quite busy though, there's a lot of people around, so it's hard to get a sh clear shot. So I'm going to walk back up the river, uh, catch up with Robin, and see if I can spy a decent uh, vista to shoot from. What I like about this location is the intimate nature of the trees and the river. It's all very compact. It's very easy to access and every time you turn a corner there's something new. Um, the light's constantly changing and improving. We have very soft sunlight out now and I'm hopeful that I'm going to get a view where I can compose the trees and the river, maybe a bit of sky, into something which is pleasing to the eye. Well, I finally come across something which has interested me. A small waterfall. 
trees in the background so I'm going to take this exposure now maybe do some uh, longer exposures using the uh, big stoppers uh, 6 and 10 stop and see if I can get some smoothness into that water Do you know, I'm not really happy with that shot at all. Uh, it's just one of those cliched waterfalls, silky water, there are a few rocks. I don't really know why I took it, to be honest. It's just one of those things. You see it, you think, great, waterfall shot, smooth water. But it's not really me. So I may show you the image, I may not. Uh, don't want to embarrass myself, really. And I'm going to set off and find something which is just more to my taste. Well, thankfully this image is, is more me, the last one was more moi. Uh, I'm much happier with the, the setup I've got here, it's, it's smaller, it's more intimate, it's more of a detailed shot. Uh, the water isn't actually playing a part in it at all, apart from the small trickle over there which uh, is giving me some movement in the shot. I'm just loving the, the tree roots. Let me just show you what I'm shooting. Okay, I've got the, the tree here with some amazing grass which is surprisingly light and standing out very well and I have the small stream just trickling in there on the right hand side. I think I'll do it in a, uh, a vertical and a horizontal composition to give me more choice later. It wouldn't really be a trip to the eastern peak area without having a go at getting a, a millstone. There's a lovely one here wedged in a tree. No idea how it got there and I'm going to try and shoot it. So I'm going to have to somehow get a composition. I'm right up against a tree here. Um, tricky angle but I'm going to have a crack at it anyway. can't get a good composition on it so I'm going to try somewhere else instead. Well I've found something more to my liking now. This is definitely more of a, a, a Steve composition and got a long lens on. 200 millimeters uh, equivalent full frame terms f8 and i'm isolating a bunch of trees my settings in terms of aperture etc what have we got f9 yeah hundredth of a oh sorry f9 iso 100 15th of a second pretty straightforward but i think much more effective than the ones i was trying earlier well, more use of the long lens here. I've set myself up into another group of trees, uh, zoomed right in with the, the, uh, the longest zoom, cropped them in, and uh, I've got some really nice detail in them. It's quite bright though, so I've actually done some bracketing here at plus two and minus two, as well as the standard exposure. So I can blend them together later to get plenty of uh, shadow detail and also plenty of highlight control. tour. Lights improved dramatically. Very low now in the sky, the sun. About an hour and ten minutes off sunset. Well I'm set up at the top now shooting. Uh, we've got a long lens on. Uh, about 200 millimeters full frame terms shooting into the uh, the light now so I've got some lovely layering of the the mountains the hills behind me getting some lovely warm light coming through so 
fingers crossed this is going to be the pattern for the rest of the evening and we get a proper full sunset tonight. Well, I think we've gone above and beyond the call of duty today. It's absolutely freezing cold, the light's completely gone, and I think we're going to call it quits now. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed today, and I'll see you at the next time. <laughs>